grew up in Marcy, moved to Carnarcie when I was always in Flatbush. It was crazy. They was throwing radiators off of roofs on cop scooters. My friends around my way, they were Decepticons. They would have little fights with people and I would see them fighting and be like, yo, what's up? We getting it in? At that time, it was Predacons was around my way, Terracons was around my way, and those were the two sets that I was rocking with. But then after a while, it started getting out of control because we all going to the same high school, but we was fighting each other. It kind of sharpened my social skills and it kind of showed me how to maneuver in and out of certain situations. Everything is still the same. Everybody that was Decepticons, we still contact and we still know each other. The difference is musically, I'm more inclined than I was before. Spit awkward, walk with unseen forces. I dine with alien kinds, fly saucers. My mind causes brains to pop like scanners. UG holds the answers to the spark nation. The goons are ape in the room. I go bonkers and send a spear through your armor. I'm a monster, a conquer. Key lometers to climb buildings. Peter Parker, Spidey sense, weird feelings. I hang from ceilings, not normal, irregular. Run it speeds that speed dominant can't register. My uncle, God bless his soul, passed away. When they used to have parties in Marcy, he used to get on the mic, like Treacherous 3 and all of them used to be out. They used to come out to the parks, rock out in the parks and stuff, so I saw it. It was my uncle who was really, he get the mic, he'd eat, and everybody so glad. And this is at the, at the barbecues, and I'm like, oh, he, he. I knew a bunch of poppers and lockers, and we used to go to Coney Island Boardwalk and battle, go to different projects and battle. So that was like my first engagement of performing hip hop wise. Then we used to do little shows and stuff. And after that, that's when the rapping part started coming. Me and my friend Akim, we was doing our cellar dweller joint. And then when he left, me and fans started performing at the Lyricist Lounge. They thought we was a group already, but we wasn't. Cause he was Star Child Solo and I was Ugg Solo. And I was like, yo, you might as well. And he was like, yeah, we might as well do it. So then we wrote our first song together, which was Good Dwellers and Land of the Lost. We performed that. And then after that, we was terrorizing the Lyricist Lounge. As I grab my head in zone and kick my heels three times, I wish I was home as I roam around the room. When I meditate, I can obliviate the state. Feed off your skin and dance to your pulse rate. My level plus 10 and the strength within have the power of 10 men. Ace gave us our first feature on his album called For The Mind. One day, how I knew it was serious, Master Ace was like, yo, come with me to uh, Special Ed Studio. So I met him on Utica Avenue. We went to Special Ed Studio. We sitting in there talking, in comes Q-Tip. In my head, I'm saying to my, I can't believe this. Wait till I go home and tell my friends, ba ba ba. So him and Ace and him talking, and out of the blue, he goes, yo, man, I wonder who those cellar dweller kids got signed to. But I saw them at the Lyricist Lounge, and Ace was like, there you go right there. Tip was like, oh, I was trying to hold the fan down. And I was like, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's, you know, I tried to be as cool as possible. And then we was cool. Then we just started meeting a bunch of DJs and Nuff Funk Master Flex, Big Buster. We just started meeting people. Met the Woo, that was family. Met Pun, that was family. And it was just dope, man. It was those was dope, dope years. Lyrically can't see me. I'm invisible. I'm invincible. And I'm back to smash. Like rock stars tripping on asses, avatar. Battle scars connect with the tree of souls. Let out raw and destroy vehicles. I kick tanks and, and swallow rockets. I swat helicopters, killing pilot and cockpit. Oh, Scott Free and Maddie C from Loud, they came through one night and they was like, yo, we see what's going on in here. Steve Riffin wants to meet with y'all. Go meet Steve Riffin. His, his Steve was wild at this time. Hair all out, coke on the table, crazy, just looking like a surfer from Malibu, crazy. You guys, are, we're gonna sell a million records. And, you know, he saw, he, he hook line and sinking us because this was our first deal. We got down with Loud and then we just took a look at the roster like, wow, oh, deep. Then Wu came and Alcoholics and P Rock Pun came on and it was like, ain't nobody seen this label. Nobody. It was tough being on that label with all all stars like that. We didn't care because they showed us love. And even though we kind of got the short end of the stick on a lot of things, it still gave us international props because they knew we were amongst those heavyweights like that and still just doing our thing. First album, we didn't, we could have grabbed all of them and put them on there, but we said, nah, we just gonna be cellar dwellers and that's it. Superhero, I train different, 
I jog with cars tied to my back, my frame different, my brain different, I move objects with it, gun cock back, blow brains out of your fitted, you gotta be kidding, your body be missing, cutting fragments, Aragorn, land on your lawn, I ride dragons, I slash men with blades, I slice through armor, I conquer, technique shelling versus llama. Before my son came, I was selfish as far as my time. When my boy came, it was like, this music gotta be put on the back burner, cause this is my boy. And plus what I went through in my life with my father leaving, I promised, I said, I'm never gonna allow anybody that I produce or have to ever have to go through what I went through. It made me say, okay, it has to be more than me just knowing how to rap now. Now it has to be a business mind to where I could leave something for him. Well, I used to live maybe like about 15 minutes from here and Sandy, the storm just destroyed my crib. My car was on the water. Oh. Everything was on the water, so um, we decided that we, we actually put in for here, and by the grace of God, we got here because it takes a little while to get in here. When we got here, we fought every single day. Every day, me and my wife fought, fought, fought. We was drinking, fighting, destroying holes, TVs on the floor, smashing everything. I had went away and did a show in Chile. They crazy. This guy gave us some hoodies. As I'm putting the hoodies on, the groupies are coming in, and a, a groupie comes on the side of me. She with my shirt. She puts her hand by my shirt. Somebody takes a picture. Immediately, it's on Facebook. I come home, my wife got the picture on our pillow. What the heck is this, blah, blah, blah. So we fighting like cats and dogs, cats and dogs, cats and dogs. My wife said, well, you gotta let me know, did you cheat on me? Out of stupidity, I said, yeah, I did. That's what you wanna hear? From there, the warfare started. We at the divorce lawyer, papers. But we was going to church and the message was coming about how the enemy doesn't like family. He wants to break family up. He doesn't like a full household. And we started studying and started learning how to defeat the enemy. My church is right across the street. So okay. my, it's still right. deep, man. Like e e even from that flood, me and my wife, we just had a feeling that God pushed us here because we was trying to change our lives anyway. Mm. Because of God's grace and his mercy and me having faith and my wife having faith, we overcame that. And now we're stronger than ever. God covered my son because my son could have grew up to be a menace because of the way we acted around him. God is planted that way because it's times I could have got killed. Like it's, I've been in shootouts and everything. These are things that I look at and I say, I had to be covered by God because I know my, my friends now, young friends, they got in them situations and they're not here. They're not here now. It's not an easy walk, but I'm going to walk it. And that's how I feel. You know what I mean?